Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good week. We're gonna be making a texture in Cinema 4D that has a lot of grime and some kind of smudges in the reflectance channel. And we're gonna be using grunge maps to do this. So let's make a new material. Let's open that up. Let's put this onto our film canister here. And let's change the color to a darker black. Now all the work that we're gonna to do to add these smudges is going to be in the reflectance channel. Uh, let's delete this default specular and add a new one. Let's add a GGX since that one has pretty good results. And let's turn the specular strength to zero and we need a bit of Fresnel here. So let's go to layer Fresnel and let's add a dielectric one. And let's change the index of refraction, the IOR to 1.5, which is a kind of a plastic look. All right, so here's our plastic look here. And I have the settings really low just for preview sake. And we want to add some scratches in here to make it a bit more realistic. And we're going to do all of this in the roughness channel. So if you notice this little arrow here, if we click it, we can actually add a texture. And let's load an image. And this is our new product called Blemish Pro. It's a bunch of grunge maps. So we have 100 of them, and they're all 8K and 16 bits. So there's a lot of information in them. So let's pick one of these grunge maps to put into our roughness channel. And maybe we'll do a smudges map and hit no. All right, so it's gonna load that into our roughness channel. And if we just hit render, you'll see that we're getting a little bit of grit here, but the thing is these are 8K resolutions, so they're really huge. Let me kick the roughness up so we can see it a little bit better. All right, so here's what it looks like with the roughness at default. And we probably wanna play with the scale a little bit. We can do that by going to the tag and under length, we can drop this down to maybe 30%. These are 8K resolutions, so they're really large. So we can scale those down a little bit. All right, so just like that, by adding a map into our roughness channel, you can see that we're getting all these really nice little imperfections, which is great. All right, so here's a few more things that we can do to dial this in. Under texture, if we click the drop down here, we can add a colorizer. And a colorizer is basically a ramp. So if we go into this, texture now we have a gradient and if you look at this little thumbnail up here as I drag these knots here we can really treat this as a levels to kind of crush or dial in this map however we want so we can make it a lot more extreme if we want to all right so what if you wanted to do two different maps so this is nice but what if we want another one also well we can actually go to the texture uh, the little twirl down here and we can add a layer and that's going to let us stack multiple maps on top of each other so let's go into the layer and we have our previous colorizer here let's add another image on top and let's pick another one of these so maybe we'll do a heavy damage hit no all right so now we have two different maps here and like the previous one we want to add this into a colorizer so we have a gradient let's right click on it add a colorizer and if we go into here, now we have our second map and we can dial in the gradient ramp on that one. All right, so let's hit render and see what that looks like. And now we're seeing this second one, but we wanna blend both of these together. And we can do that by changing it from normal to add. And now if we do that, it's gonna mix both of these and we'll have two different maps. And you can stack as many maps as you want on top of here. And if you want to kind of blend these two together a little bit better, you can also play with these sliders and just kind of mix them a little bit so it's not 100% on each. And then we'll get a bit more of a subtle effect, but you're able to get multiple maps in here. All right, so let's change that top one to normal. I wanted to mention one last thing here. Because these are both on the same material tag, you can't um, scale these independently. If you want to scale these independently, what you can do is right click on that one and add it to a layer. And once we do that, we can go into that layer and then under effect, there's something called transform. And if we click that, now we can transform the scale. So if we want that second map to be a different scale, we can go ahead and uh, scale that one independently. And we can also move it. So if we want it to uh, slide this way or that way, we can play around with that. So there you go. That's a quick way to add a lot of blemishes and imperfections to your object. And the Cinema 4D setup's really easy. You can add a lot of layers and stack them on top of each other and mix them. Super easy and really fun to play with. Hope you guys found that useful and we'll talk to you next time. Ciao.